Welcome back to WP EasyCart. In this video tutorial, we're going to walk through how to set up and connect a payment gateway uh, so that your shopping system can start collecting money. Uh, in our previous videos, we walked through installation, setting up your first product, um, product options, okay, even some design configurations. So at this point, you have an operational store. Now let's take a look at how to do payment gateways and then in our next videos we'll talk about taxes and shipping. And so I'm going to show you both ways uh, right now. I have just the free edition and it'll look a little bit different than if you have the pro edition. Not a lot but a little bit. And I'm going to go to the settings and your payment gateway is going to be set up under financial settings in the payment section. And when you're in the free edition, it's important that you understand that uh, there are several different ways you can pay. You can pay with PayPal, which takes people to PayPal, or it pops open a PayPal window. That's considered kind of a third-party payment situation. All the payment information is handled there. Stripe and Square, on the other hand, these two collect uh, credit card information and process them instantly and securely but it happens directly on your site instantaneously and customers don't know who you're using for a payment gateway they don't really care they just want to be able to pay and purchase and check out so these two are what we would consider live payment gateways and we also have what's called bill later and bill later is used for just putting in an order but bypasses any payment method altogether and so it's free to use uh, it doesn't cost anything you have to invoice your users or collect payment through checks or however you wish to collect payment uh, they simply get put into easy card as a pending order and then you deal with the payment so bill later is an option as well now in the free edition we take uh, it pay at easy cart uh, two percent per transaction in order to process these through our system uh, and it looks like this it's very easy to set up you can see right now I have bill later and so let's take a look at what that looks like if I go ahead and go to my shopping cart I've got a couple items in my cart let's just say a user starts to go through checkout they enter all their billing shipping whatever information they need they go to the payment page Okay, they're going to see this option, uh, pay by direct deposit, and they're going to go ahead and be able to submit the order, and it will just simply go into EasyCart. No money's collected, no credit cards needed. Uh, this is often used for people who have services, or you send out invoices, um, or you just want to go ahead and, and get the system in there or get a quote uh, for users. Uh, you can always change this language and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. Uh, let's take a look at if you come in here and you want to enable something like PayPal. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just slide this on. The sign up process is really simple. It's going to ask for uh, an email so you do need a business PayPal account. If you don't have one it'll have you create one here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use this sample log in. It says, hey, thanks for signing up. It's now connected PayPal and EasyCart. That's all that's needed to do. And you're ready to start collecting money through PayPal. I'm in live mode, so I should be able to come back to my store. I can refresh. And now you can see I have pay by direct deposit or people can use PayPal and you can see that it's already set up uh, people can go through and look at their final review statement here make sure they got the right products when they hit PayPal you're gonna see that it shows up with a PayPal window so that's third-party payments um, and it's pretty simple to use now if you want to enable live payment gateways like Stripe or Square you can do that by just turning them on they will ask you to go ahead and log in, pick which account you want to connect with. I'm going to go ahead and log in here with a simple account. 
connect if you don't have an account with them they'll have you create one uh, but you can see here now that uh, stripes turned on I can go ahead and refresh my final payment page and you can see now I've got three choices I've got direct deposit PayPal or check out by a credit card and it's ready to go as well so you've got several options here uh, and if you try to submit for example with a credit card it's gonna say hey you need to actually enter a credit card so on and so forth so uh, very simple to use you can turn these on or off you can't have stripe and square because they both do the same thing they're both credit card processing now let me show you what it looks like when we have the actual pro plugin so I'm gonna go ahead and turn my pro plugin if you're professional or premium things could look a little bit different not a whole lot but a little bit I'll go ahead and go to my payment panel and now you can see we have bill later uh, we have uh, third-party gateways and again because you unlocked there's several others that you could choose from you don't have to have PayPal and here we have stripe and square just like we did before but you also unlock a bunch of other live payment gateways things like Intuit, First Data, eWay, Authorize.net okay you can simply come in here enable them and some of these you may have to go through and enter your actual transaction keys or your your passcodes it depends on which gateway you're using uh, but they're already integrated you don't have to actually program anything uh, Square and Stripe by far most popular live gateways and PayPal by far the the most popular third-party gateway um, bill now a lot of people like to turn that off because they always want to collect payments so for example in this situation all I have is PayPal turned on and I can go ahead and refresh and now PayPal is set to go okay uh, PayPal also has um, a first page checkout feature so if I just go to my shopping cart like a normal user would uh, you'll notice that I can check out which means I go through the regular shopping cart flow of easy cart or if I go back to my shopping cart you can see I am presented with some PayPal options here and what this does is this just lets users skip your entire checkout and they go ahead and enter their information and continue right here so it's a it's a feature that PayPal offers it's not necessarily built into easy cart but it does let users quickly flow through uh, the checkout experience and if you want to uh, look into some advanced options for example if you want to turn that off you can turn allow cart page one off or on if I turn that off for example now users are going to have to go through your checkout and they'll get to the end of course if I go through checkout like this they will see PayPal just as normal so essentially you're taking it off just that first uh, cart page uh, you can also change things in here for PayPal for example your currencies that you're using your weight units they do have to match up with your PayPal business account for example if you have a US business account you can't come in here and select Canadian dollars you can't come in here and select Hong Kong dollars it will automatically accept payments from anywhere around the world but you can only process in the final processing in your currency so use the use the currency code selection sparingly when you do that make sure you know what you're setting up as well so that's how you set up your payment gateways uh, they're really simple uh, when users go through and process with a credit card they will come in as order confirmed or card approved or they will be the third party pending or third party approved sorry uh, so you know the order status when they go through should show up accordingly that they've been approved and finished and finalized so payment payment gateways are pretty uh, pretty seamless very easy to set up um, and we'll take a look at a few individual setups as well as our documentation has some uh, individual setup uh, information uh, but for the basics that's how you set up a gateway 
Uh, now we're going to take a look at how to set up some tax information.